Willie, thank you. An Air Force veteran's ashes stolen just a day before his family planned to bury his remains in Austin. Now his family members are pleading for help so the 89-year-old man can rest in peace. Carla Castaño has their story. He insisted, you know, quite heartily that when he died, he was going to be buried with his wife. The Postels had planned to spend eternity side by side. They bought the space for my dad. His name's on the, in the ground. Plan shattered by a thief who busted the glass of this car window when the family stopped for a quick bite to eat at Schlotsky's on South Lamar Thursday afternoon. Just a day before Charles Pastel was to be put to rest at Cook Walden Cemetery in Pflugerville. We planned the interment for 8 o'clock this morning. The car burglar stole a coach purse which had the ashes inside of a box with Charles Postel's name on it. That purse belonged to a niece who had just flown in with the ashes from Massachusetts. We just got a commendation for him in the mail uh, with President Obama's stamp on it for his 30 years of service to his country. Police took fingerprints hoping to match anyone with the previous record and the credit cards inside the purse have been used. But for the family, it's not about getting the purse or the money back. They just want Charles Postel's dying wish to be granted. It's the fact that my dad wanted to be buried next to my mom and... Someone has taken that opportunity away, hopefully temporarily. I mean, Cook Walden's offered the $500.